Hello everyone! In today's video tutorial I want to show you how to crochet Blooming Star blanket created in brochet technique. Believe me, the pattern is really very easy. It's perfect for relaxing evenings, watching TV and crocheting at the same time. It, the blanket has star shape. Let me try to show you. It doesn't fit all, but here you can see the deeper corner. And here is the steep one. And for this blanket, I was using Lion Brand Mandala, mostly Chimera and a little bit of Warlock, contrasting with three shades of yellow yarn from Yarn Art. It's called Adore. So, as I said, the pattern is really very easy and I will be happy to show you how to work it so you can create your own beauty. Okay, so before we start, I want to tell you that you, for this pattern, you will need two contrasting colors and you can use absolutely any weight yarn. Just, uh, I recommend to use uh, uh, larger size hook than you usually use for that yarn. As now for the video, I will be using lightweight, which is the key um, weight yarn. And I, uh, usually I'm using four millimeters hook, but this time for this pattern, I will be using four and a half millimeters hook. The pattern creates very thick uh, texture and uh, to, to have some softness, uh, it's really reco I really recommend to use a bit larger uh, hook. And you need two contrasting colors, absolutely any colors you like. And any color can be A or B uh, because they both create the same pattern. So we start with the magic ring. And chain two, this chain will not count as stitch and we will work six double crochet into magic ring with chain one in between and after the last double crochet. So one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, we have three and we need three more, one, two, three. Let's double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, and chain one after the last. So do not tighten up magic ring very tight because we will be working the next round into magic ring as well. Just a little bit. At the end of the round, we always close it with the invisible join into the top of our first stitch. So for invisible join, you take the hook out of the loop, you insert into top of our first stitch from behind, you grab the loop and you pull it through. The same we do for mosaic crochet if we work it in the rounds. So now what we will have to do, we have to change the color We'll change it with a slip stitch. What I like to do, I tied my working yarn with a tail of second color just to secure it. 
to be sure that it will not unravel and we will be ready to start round two so for round two and each round we will start with chain one and now we will be working in front of previous round into magic ring between each double crochet we will be working one extended double crochet chain one and then after the next double crochet into magic ring again one extended double crochet chain one and like this we need six extended double crochet with chain one in between worked in front of previous round into magic ring chain one one extended double crochet chain one how many we have one two three four five so one more chain one and again we are joining the round with invisible join into top of our first stitch tighten up change the color with a slip stitch tighten chain one now at this point we can tighten our magic ring already this is what a beautiful mess we have now i know it looks a bit tight everything will straighten out uh, will straighten out and you will see how nicely and easy everything will go so we chain one and we are ready to start around three each round always we will be working two rounds below it means into the round worked in same color so for this round we will be working one front post extended double crochet about around double crochet on round one chain one and one more front post extended double crochet around the same stitch chain one and like this we will be repeating around each stitch one front post extended double crochet chain one and one front post extended double crochet around the same stitch so we are working two stitches around one stitch on round one let me show you one more front post extended double crochet chain one and around the same stitch another one again chain one and like this we go all around and we close the round with the invisible join let me finish this round and we will go further so i completed around three everything is looks much better now already <laughs> isn't it 
and we are ready to start a round four. I change the color, chain one as usual, and we will be working front post extended double crochet around extended double crochet two rounds below. So the stitches in the same color. Chain one, and now. In between those stitches we insert and we need to find here two rounds below chain one space bring it a little bit in front so it's easier for you and we will work here one double crochet chain one and another double crochet into the same chain one space chain one again front post extend a double crochet chain one and again here into chain one space one double crochet chain one and into the same chain one space one double crochet this one double crochet chain one one double crochet are going to be our corners and it will go through all the pattern and again the same all around one front post extend a double crochet chain one one double crochet into chain one space chain one and another one double crochet into the same chain one space so like this we will go all around let me finish this round and i will show you round five so i finish round four this is how it looks slip stitch to change the color and chain one and we are ready to start round five we will be working front post extend a double crochet around front post extend a double crochet two rounds below chain one and again here our corners we will be working into chain one space two rounds below one double crochet chain one and another double crochet into the same chain one space working in front of previous round always again front post extend the double crochet chain one another front post extend the double crochet chain one and corner again one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the same chain one space and again front post extended double crochet and chain one so like this we will go all around let me finish this round and i will show you as always at the end of the round we are closing the round with the invisible join and we are changing color with a slip stitch so let me finish this one and i will show you how, how we work round six so we completed round five this is how it looks and we are ready to start round six chain one as usual for this round we will be doing some a little bit uh, different we will be skipping here this those stitches we will be skipping this one this one here those six stitches so i will show you so we skip the first one this we go straight to the next one here we will be working front post extend a double crochet chain one and here we have corner again so we will be working one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the same chain one space chain one again one front post extend a double crochet 
chain one and here we skip this stitch again from sorry i said skip the stitch and i'm working into it we skip the stitch and into the next one from post extended double crochet chain one and into the corner one double crochet chain one one double crochet again chain one and another front post extended double crochet chain one and this one we skip and like this we go all around and we close around with the invisible join and we change the color with a slip stitch so this is uh, how it looks after we completed round six and we are ready to start round seven i change the color chain one and this round we will start working around the last and the first stitch two rounds below working front post extend a double crochet stitch around both those stitches at the same time front post extended double crochet chain one front post extended double crochet into the next one chain one again corner so we are working into chain one space two rounds below one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one again front post extended double crochet around next stitch chain one and again we will be working front post extended double crochet around those two stitches at the same time chain one and like this we will go all around one front post extended double crochet chain one and corner again one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one front post extended double crochet chain one and again here we'll work around those stitches one stitch and like this we will go all around so let me complete this around and i will show you what goes next I completed round seven and we are ready to start round eight which is our first repeated round so in this round we will be working into each stitch two rounds below so it's one front post extended double crochet chain one one front post extended double crochet chain one uh, our corners as usual one double crochet chain one one more double crochet into the same chain one space chain one one front post extended double crochet two rounds below chain one one more front post extended double crochet chain one if you notice here we had one more stitch after we work this stitch around two stitches together this stitch disappears you ignore it and you forget it it doesn't exist anymore so one more time 
the repeat of this around one front post extended double crochet chain one another front post extended double crochet chain one and into chain one space two rounds below one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the same chain with space this is our corner chain one front post extended double crochet chain one one front post extended double crochet chain one and like this we will go all around let me pause the video and i will show you how we work around nine here you completed round eight and we are ready to start around nine which is the second repeated around of the pattern what we will be doing for this around we will be skipping this stitch that we worked around two stitches at the same time and other stitches as usual we will be working front post extended double crochet chain one another front post extended double crochet chain one and our corners also as usual one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the same chain one space two rounds below chain one again front post extended double crochet chain one front post extended double crochet chain one and we skip this stitch that we worked around two stitches at the same time and we work like this all around another front post extended double crochet always chain one between the stitches one double crochet chain one one double crochet into chain one space chain one front post extended double crochet chain one and one more front post extended double crochet chain one so like this we will go all around so let me finish this round and i will show you how we work around 10. so this is how it looks after we completed around nine i hope yours look the same and we are ready to start round 10. and this is our third repeated round there will be totally three repeated rounds so around eight nine ten those are our repeated rounds so for this round again we will be working around these stitches together so front post extended double crochet around those two stitches in the center of each side together this is the center of our side so these are the corners where we always work one double crochet chain one one double crochet and this is the center of each side so these stitches we will work together and here front post extended double crochet always chain one in between another front post extended double crochet chain one our corner one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one another front post extended double crochet chain one front post extended double crochet chain one around those stitches at the same time 
one front post extender double crochet and like this we will go all around another front post extender double crochet corner one double crochet chain one one double crochet and to chain one space two rounds below chain one front post extender double crochet chain one front post extender double crochet oops chain one and here again we will work around those stitches together so like this we will go all around and let me show you how it looks when we finish so this is what we have after we completed uh, uh, round 10 which is our sled repeated around and what we do from now, we will be repeating around 8, 9, 10. 8, 9, 10. Every time with each repeat, you will have one more extended, uh, front post extender double crochet. Here and here. And the changes we do only here in the center. So when we are working around 8, I have here a cheat note. When we work repeated around eight, we will be working all stitches. So we have here purple, we will be working into each stitch, front post extender, double crochet with chain one in between always. And in our corners, we will be working one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet here into chain one space, two rounds below. On the next round, when we will be working in the opposite color, round 9, we will be skipping this stitch here in the center, in the center of each side of our hexagon. This one, this one, we will be skipping the stitch that we worked around those two stitches at the same time. And Next repeat it around again in opposite color. We will be working around two stitches at the same time. Just what we did here in the previous uh, round. So it's pretty easy. And you repeat these three rounds as many times as you want. The uh, It can be motifs. It can be any size continuous hexagon. If you notice, when the motif is small, it has pure hexagon shape. And only when it becomes bigger, those parts here, the centers, they go deeper, and the corners here poke more, and it starts shaping the star shape. So if you are doing the motifs, just be sure that uh, each motif has the same number of rounds. You can stop absolutely with any round you want. No matter if it's hexagon or small motif or continuous uh, uh, blanket. It can be any size and you can finish it with any round you want. Absolutely. So just let me pause the video and I will show you how do we work the last round so we don't have those gaps here. So the last round, we want to eliminate those gaps. What we are going to do, we will be working front post extender double crochet two rounds below as usual. And instead of chain one, we will be working one single crochet into previous round. It means it means opposite color, one single crochet. This is the difference. Instead of chain one, we will be working one single crochet. So again, front post 
extend the double crochet and instead of chain one we will be working one single crochet into the stitch of previous round again front post extend the double crochet one single crochet and in the corners instead of one double crochet chain one one double crochet we will be working into chain one space only one double crochet so this is our corner if you are joining the motifs together just be sure that this is double crochet is our corner stitch so again one single crochet into next stitch and front post extend the double crochet around the stitch two rounds below so this is how it looks our last round and if you wish you can add few more rounds of uh, single crochet or more stitch whatever you prefer uh, on my sample let me show it so when i was doing my, my sample i added here like how many one two three four four five rounds of more stitch and to tighten up what i was doing here i was decreasing here every second round where it's the deep corner and on these corners i was increasing only on every second round because usually in the corners we work increase yes but i was increasing only on every second round so it's like the edge is more stiff but you actually watch your how your blanket is and is it really necessary it's not necessary just adjust it according to your attention and uh, i believe this is it for this video i hope you enjoy it and uh, i believe you agree that it's a really easy pattern very relaxing one and i hope to see many beauties around thank you so much for watching bye bye